Hey YouTube, so this is going to be my pregnancy tag video and I saw um, Susie, I think her name is Susie Q and some numbers, I, I'll put her link below, do this video and I thought it'd be fun to do. It's made for um, new mommies but um, I only had Kayla a year ago and I'm about to have another one so I thought it would be fun to do. So the first question is, what do you wish somebody would have told you about pregnancy? And I was thinking hard about this question, um, and honestly there wasn't a whole lot that I wasn't aware of because I do a lot of reading and research and just ask a lot of questions in general. But if I had to answer this question, I would say how fast the pregnancy goes. Um, even with my first pregnancy, it went stinking fast and um, I just wish somebody would have told me to enjoy every moment while I was pregnant um, because it's over before you know it and you don't, you're not pregnant very many times in your life. It's a special time. so just to really enjoy it. Question number two, what happened with your labor and delivery? Um, I actually did this story, it was one of my very first YouTube videos. I will post a link right here. Um, please don't laugh at me, it's like I said, it's one of my first YouTube videos. But yeah, I did a story of this. The short version is, I was induced due to the onset of preeclampsia. Um, they inserted Cervidil, one night, the next night, my water broke. I was admitted to the hospital, put on Pitocin, still wasn't feeling contractions. They kept turning Pitocin up for like four hours, didn't feel anything. Um, got up to go to the bathroom, and all of a sudden, I went from zero feeling to like a, a 10 on, on out of 10 um, on the contraction scale. It's like I missed that whole building up labor contraction feeling and I just went to the worst contractions like imaginable so um, yeah I contracted super hard for an hour they checked me after about 15 minutes of me screaming and like melting down basically not gonna lie they checked me and I was only two centimeters so they're like can't have an epidural um, when I was at the one hour mark of contractions they're like you know what we're gonna give her one because she's not coping they gave me that, so like I say, I was in labor for an hour. They gave me the epidural and checked me and I was at 10. So I did 0 to 10 centimeters in an hour uh, with no pain medicine. And yeah, once I got that epidural, I was at 10 centimeters. The pain medicine kicked in. Life was wonderful. It took me, um, so I'm going to grab my daughter. Oh. It took me two hours to push her out, but I couldn't really feel anything because like I said, I had the epidural. And yeah, it was wonderful from then on. So my labor story is quite a bit different than most people's first um, labor story. What are you doing? But yeah, that's my labor story. Question number three. How did you feel when you first found out you were pregnant? I was completely and utterly grateful, happy, relieved, excited beyond belief. Uh, we tried for seven months, which was a long time at the time. Kayla, I understand people try for way longer and um, my heart goes out to them because seven months was, was a long time, it felt like, during it. So yeah, I was just very grateful and very excited. Uh, so that was for baby number one. For baby number two, how did I feel? I was shocked more than anything. It was my second cycle. I was in Mexico on vacation. I wasn't expecting to be pregnant. Um, I was hoping, of course, but yeah, I'm more shocked than anything, but equally as excited. Question number four. How did you tell your husband? Um, well, for baby number one, I was testing really early um, with the internet GP tests, and I thought I saw a line, but you know your eyes trick you. I woke him up like before he was even getting up from work and showed him and he was just like, there's nothing there, you're crazy basically. So I went to work um, with a little bit of, you know, hope inside and I decided to buy a early response test on the way home. I told my husband I was buying it and he was like, okay. And I took it and bam, like two definite lines and he was still at work and I called him and just said, there are two lines here and he said, seriously? I was like, yeah, there are two lines here, and I was, I would think I was probably shrieking or something. And yeah, that's how he found out the first time. Uh, the second time I did a, a video of how he found out, kind of similar story, but we're in Mexico. I thought I saw a line, again, he thought I was crazy. 
And uh, he went and bought me an early response test in Mexico, brought it home, waited till the next morning, took it, and bam, it was pregnant again. So uh, he was right there when I took that test. He was in the shower when I was taking it. So yeah, that's how he found out. Question five, how did you feel when you were in labor? <laughs> I think this is a funny question. Um, while I was on Pitocin, I felt like this is cool, I'm on Pitocin, I'm not feeling anything. Man, I must be a pro at labor. <laughs> Once the contraction started, I wasn't feeling anything because I was, thought I was dying and was just trying to cope. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> uh, once I was pushing, I felt like very surreal. Like, I'm pushing my daughter out, I'm about to meet her. Excited, um, scared at the same time. So, mixed emotions. Question six, when did you first feel like yourself again? And I can't really remember, even though it was only a year ago. But I would say at least six weeks to two months um, until I really felt like myself again. Not physically. Um, I was lucky. I was, lucky. I was one of those lucky people who didn't tear at all. I didn't really have any postpartum recovery to do. But just to feel like not a zombie and... Um, just like me again, yeah, probably six to eight weeks. Question seven. What is the best thing about being a new mom? Um, the best thing at the time was just knowing that this little baby girl was mine and that she was coming home with me and that I was responsible for her for the rest of her life. Um, yes, that was also an intimidating feeling, but it was also a very rewarding feeling, so that would be my answer for that question. Number eight, the most unexpected thing about being a new mom. For me, that would be um, postpartum depression or baby blues. Still don't really know which one I had. Eyes? It, it hit me hard um, in ways I did not expect. I, I mean, I did that postpartum depression screening test before I even gave birth to see if I was high risk for that, and I was very low risk for that. But. Um, it definitely hit me hard, and the fact that I had Kayla in November this season, um, seasonal affective disorder combined with baby blues, I was uh, I was not myself. I can say that. So that was probably the most unexpected thing. Question nine: Do you miss being pregnant? Well, considering I'm pregnant again, no. But yes, right after I had my daughter, I did miss being pregnant. I was one of those people who loved being pregnant, loved every minute of it, good and bad. Um, so I missed it right away. I was excited that we were going to try pretty quick after for baby number two. So that kind of kept me at ease. But yeah, um, I love being pregnant. And I know after I have my last baby, it's probably going to be pretty sad for me because it's just such an exciting thing to go through. Question 10. How many children do you want and when? Well, we're about to have two. Definitely want at least three. However, the third, there's going to be a bit more of a gap, probably at least a two-year gap. Um, between second and third. I've always wanted four, Harrison's wanted two, so I think I'm lucky getting three at this point. Um, but who knows, who knows, after we have three we may want four, or we might be happy with three. So we can't really answer that question. Last question, is it hard to see how fast they grow? Absolutely it is. Um, it's exciting in one aspect. I mean, every new thing she does is so rewarding. Like. When she first sat up, first crawled, first walked, ate solids, is talking now, it's all so exciting, but it goes so fast. The amount of changes they do in one year is like insane to think about, so yes, it's sad um, to see how fast they grow, but it's all worth it and it's all rewarding because each new stage is... Uh, is wonderful as well. So that is it for my pregnancy tag. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you would like to do this video, feel free to and let me know you've done it and I will take a look at it. So thanks again. Bye.